Thanks, guys. Dana, this show continues to deliver week after week after week. Who gets the nod tonight? It's so hard to pick. Believe me, I, I like so many guys tonight. But tonight, I got to go with Brandon and Julian. So uh, I'm going to take two, Brandon and Julian. Yes, it was, a, it was, a, it was uh, you know, the, uh, there were so many fights that were good tonight and uh, so many dog fights, and, but those are the two I'm going to pick. Brandon obviously not coming away with a finish, but just an incredible dog fight. I mean, is that, is that part of what you're looking for? It's exactly what I look for. It's what I love. I love, uh, you know, both guys involved in that fight. Uh, dug deep, big hearts, great chins. Uh, love to be in there and mix it up. And, uh, yeah, that's what I'm into. That's what I like. Well, I hear some very excited fighters coming our direction. Thank you so much for taking a second. I appreciate it. So, Brandon Davis and Julian Marquez. Let's start with Brandon Davis. My goodness, his son turned two two days ago. He had to miss his birthday for this opportunity. He made the most of it. Yeah, that kid impressed me, man. His combinations, his Muay Thai was sharp. He fought out of a tough guillotine that, you know, a lot of guys might have just submitted to and, and embraced it and, and been tired, but he fought through it, and uh, it was his volume. It was his combinations, and, and, and not just throwing one, two, or three punches. He was throwing four, five, six, seven punches at a time and kicks. He was eating up the leg of Arnett, and that really uh, paid dividends for him uh, in the end of that fight. Great right, so, job. So as we're watching, and we're inside the Ultimate Fighter gym, Julian Marquez is right down the hall from us. He does not know yet his fate. He will find out shortly, and we'll bring it to you. But right now, it's Brandon Davis, Killer B, who is on his way to talk to Laura Sanko, the newest members of the UFC. Julian Marquez just learns his fate, and after the thunderous head kick that became his sixth knockout win, he's on his way. Yeah, this kid. What can he do at middleweight? He can do some damage, you know, especially if he keeps working with the team that he's got here in Vegas and, 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 and pushing his wrestling, and uh, we'll see. All right, but the show belongs to Brandon Davis right now, who is with Laura Sanko once again. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Brandon. You just said two times in one night. That's right. You missed your son's birthday for this moment. Uh, any message for him right now? I'm going to come see you soon. We're going to the aquarium and do big stuff with the team. And the UFC country. Man, it's going to change his life. I promise you it's going to change my life too. I'm so excited. I feel like you were just kind of hit by like an aha moment of emotion. What's, what's going through your mind? Man, I mean, it's like I want to cry, but I don't, I don't know. I mean, I can't even explain it. It's, it's what I imagined, but when it actually happens, it's, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. <laughs> How's the leg? I see you got it wrapped up. You're doing all right? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm, I mean, foot and ankle are super sore, uh, but I think it'll be all right. Uh, hopefully it's Come on in, Julian. Yeah, good. My man, we were cutting weight together. It was hard. We were the last two. We were dying in there. It was a rough one. But we did it. it off, two off. checks. The last two won the uh, sauna. The one that got it. The last two the way in. I love it. Maybe that's the key. The last men in the sauna, right? Yes. Julian, Julian, to you, talk a little bit about your journey coming into this moment. Um, losing your mom, moving out of out of Kansas City, you know, the, the, a place that was so close to you and starting a new life in Las Vegas. Just talk us through the journey to this point and what it means to you. Man, my journey is uh, just helped mold me to who I am today. Um, helped me get through that weight cut last night. I mean, if you ask anybody who was there, ask Roger with the UFC, Sean Dodaro, they were sitting there and I was dead. I needed to get one pound off and it wasn't coming and I was in that steam room for 45 minutes nonstop just dying. And that's exactly how it was through the journey I've had coming up from Kansas City. Just everything I had was a struggle. So this definitely brought me to where I am today. What's your message to the UFC middleweight division? What's up, guys? You know, I'm here, Bisbing, Whitaker. Like, you guys have the belts. Whoever takes the belt from them, that's who I'm after. You know, I don't care for anybody else. You know, I got family that's in the 85-pound division. So. Let's go, let's have fun, let's make memories. Highlight reels. Congrats to both of you. Can't wait to see what's next for you guys in the UFC.